Hey guys, uh, spoilers discussion here where we get into all of the aspects of the film and things we found good, ridiculous, crazy, uh, things we wish were, were better, um, things like that. So obviously spoilers warning and then also a tease for you guys. We are in fact working on a Mortal Kombat board game. We have been for a while. Uh, we just finished fulfillment for Street Fighter. It's going to be finished like mid-May uh, for the rest of the territories. Uh, so we are gearing up for Mortal Kombat, and I'm very, very excited for it. So we tease uh, the box art reveal for the core set and the boss set at the end of the video if you want to check that out. And that game will be coming sometime this year uh, once uh, things get all hammered out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the spoilers discussion. All right, check it out. Okay, welcome to the spoiler section. So um, we start off with, uh, I think we start out really well, you know, yeah. that like from the YouTube machinimas. If you focus, a really strong part of the Mortal Kombat lore and story is the battles between Scorpion and, and, and Sub-Zero. Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> well, in, in other lore, it's like well, Japanese, no, Japanese, Japanese, Chinese, English, Japanese. Because he hated the English part. Sure. Why does he speak English? <laughs> All right. And you, I don't know. So there, they fight. Uh, you know, his his family is murdered by the Lin Kuei, who uh, frees his family. But he manages to store away his daughter. And I'm like, what are they gonna do? Uh, Can I bitch about this scene yet? Is, yeah, go ahead. Um, so Sub Zero is the worst assassin everywhere uh, in, in yes. the entire world because every time he shows up anywhere, it starts to snow, even if it's July. And uh, or it gets know. real cold. And <laughs> everyone's like, wait, it's really cold. It's like, oh, oh shit, he's, he's coming. Right. right. Yeah. All right, yeah. at guard up. But you know, doesn't work that yeah. way. They don't know. It's he only attacks people he's attacked once. All right, Alex. That's how you can get away with it. Oh, um, they hide a baby, and at first I thought, oh, cool, this is gonna be Takeda, you know. But it's not Takeda. It's a it's a, a daughter baby. It's a female baby, and um, a little girl. And they hide her away, so everybody dies. Cool fucking action scene at the Loved beginning. It. Very cool. Because he hears his his wife scream. Great cinematography too. A slow mo on the water dropping, water flowing while he's running in the background. I'm like, man, here it's like, we honestly, go. They I'm gonna love this film. He gets there, he <laughs> fucking takes them all so on. So sweet. And then he even uses a little gardening tool, creates his own kunai, and, and starts doing his scorpion stuff. Brutal, blood, fantastic. This is why we like the film, right? And, and I thought it was gonna start really well. It was um, amazing. I think they just use all their creative juices in the first. Well, here's the thing. You lean on that. That was done a lot in the YouTube machinimas and the stories and the, t and okay, the well web series. So it's very <laughs> easy to do that part, right? <laughs> and, but, they, but credit where credit's due, they do it equally as yeah. well, if not better. Now, here's the problem. Uh, you know, so then you know, we get the little story between Bai Han. But it, they never go into in depth. We don't ever learn why he hates him so much. And at the end, he says, for the Lin Kuei. And so for a moment there, as a fan, you know, oh, shit, maybe Scorpion murdered all the Lin Kuei, and he's just doing the return. And, and Hanzo is just a foot soldier <laughs> in a greater clan, and he's getting revenge. So from that side, it's completely legitimate, other than, you know, murdering women and children kind of thing. But we never get any of that. And we got that even in the fucking web series we got some of that and so later on when they're both saying for the shri you and for the lin kuei like it make it has no meaning because we don't know those clans we never saw those clans what, so. what's crazy about this is that scene is a perfect representation of the issues with this whole film so as a fan you're like you need to spend more time here and elaborate. yeah we know it it we, makes sense for us we, well it makes sense but you but you want them to uh like flesh it out a little bit more as a yeah. person who is lost who is like brand new to mortal Kombat, they're not gonna know what's gonna, what's happening and they're yeah. gonna be like hey like ninjas are fighting ninjas yeah nin yeah this guy's speaking chinese and this one's japanese they don't explain it for anybody so it's not satisfying as a fan because you want yeah, them so to go more say, in depth with yeah, all those Exactly. Things. And it's not satisfying for a new person because they're lost anyway. Yeah. So, uh, and then we get, uh, after that, we get introduced uh, to uh, Raiden. Raiden takes the baby. He finds the baby. And Raiden is cool. I like that he's Japanese. I like that he's a god-level powers. His electricity looks fantastic. 
But he's not Christopher Lambert, and I love Christopher Lambert. This is like a personal thing. I love yes. the, the well, levity I, and the gravity that, that Lambert brought to the role. I, Nobody's going to ever laugh. replace that. Laugh. That laugh is so perfect. And even the video game version of, of Raiden, to me, uh, with that voice actor and with all the lore and, and sort of the, the strongness, is a better Raiden than this Raiden. This Raiden, I think, is, you know, he does his job. But I, I just, I'm not connected to him. He I don't too got feel it. Line, yeah. Well, he got sidelined. Yeah. We got sidelined, and then throughout the entire movie, we learn that he can banish people. And yeah, and this Raiden kind of fucks up. Yeah, like the, they do so, they, they do Raiden so dirty I'll here. You I'll think I'll about we'll it. We'll get to that. We'll get to it. Okay. When it's it does terrible. the realm. Oh, it's the terrible. realms. Okay. Yeah, we'll this, get to it. Raiden's terrible. So uh, then we have the tournament explanation. So after that, we get a black screen and we get the tournament, and that is literally the only explanation we get in this film. So wait, you're telling me that you had to create a surrogate character in Cole Young to explain things for the audience, but you don't actually explain things for the audience. You do a single black screen with some text on it that says, "Hey, here is the lore of the thing," and now they're the going to they're in just jeopardy. the you're world yeah. losing. We just saw One a really loss. good movie that did the same thing. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, remember? Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu did the same thing. They explained <laughs> it with a black. And, well, there was a black screen that would come up, and then they would do a comic. Yeah. This one didn't even do a comic. T this just did text. <laughs> ten tournaments. This will be the tenth. They will be able to take over and do the invasion. And now mm -hmm. he's gathering, and he's going to kill the people before they show up. So we see Shang Tsung. And again, Shang Tsung is a shadow of the former. It's hard to fill Shang Tsung's uh, uh, shoes from the former film because this guy... I don't feel threatened by him. I don't feel the presence. I don't feel any of that, unfortunately. No. He may be a famous actor and whose work I'm unfamiliar with, but again, that you can't lean on that. You have to show me that presence in the film. He didn't so have I, the facial expressions mm -mm. as the other one did. No, he was, just yeah, like, he, wasn't face. he was just... I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. I can Minions, suck people's go do right, stuff. Do stuff. And it's like, no, the other one's like, yo, soul is mine. Right. Like, and, and his armor, I think, was they played up the, maybe a Chinese <laughs> kind of thing because he also he can commands uh, yeah. Sub-Zero. So I think it's kind of Chinese versus Japanese kind of thing they were they were doing there. Uh, anyways, um, and then I'm like, okay, Cole Young, Yuki. I think it's going to be so stupid. They introduce a new character, but at least, at the very least, I was, and I'm still in the first act where I'm like, yeah, okay, I like this. I'll, I will justify it. I will defend this to the death is what I was thinking, right? Honestly, I can't. And I'm like, I he's not trying. a new character. He's not a new character. He is the son of Scorpion, and I was going to say it, but then I was like, okay, well, that was a long time great, ago. Great, he was great. the ancestor great, of great, Scorpion, great. right? Yeah. And it turns out that that's what it is. He has, uh, you know, the mark. Hanzo's um, blood in him, and he has a mark. And everybody who is the greatest Earthrealm warrior has a mark on their body. Or uh, if that warrior then dies or is killed by a, another person, then that mark passes to it's that. How does he it's learn all this? Well, he's <laughs> fighting in the MMA. He's losing, uh, and and they got him in a fucking hard bar. They got him in a. He cannot get out of this, and everybody's like, "Don't give up!" And he's like, oh. <laughs> and he's, he's, like, and he's got a snap out. <laughs> and he's completely, yeah, he's completely vulnerable. Yeah, and then they're all mad at him. That his he gave stupid up. daughter's like, don't tap like, out. It's like, he's about to get his arm to, broken. Your father is about to die. <laughs> Anyways, um, so Jack shows up to this fight, and he's like, oh, you, uh, you got the tattoo? I got the tattoo. Okay. And then he, and then he saves him later on because Shang Tsung saying, he says, fuck these rules, fuck the gods, they're lazy. That's his explanation. Let's just kill every Earth Realm fighter and, and then, and then we'll invade. The but why not invade now? There's no reason. <laughs> There's no the, reason. The people who are lazy are the people writing this fucking movie okay. is because all you had to do was Here play one of the goddamn yeah, games. And oh, it's so, so bad. So, and then I was like, oh, I was looking for all the little Easter eggs. I was like, oh, his, um, his, his fists are yellow. He's using kind of yellow. So that, yeah, he's scorpion kind of thing. Um, and... It was just sweat stains. It was, it was sweat stains, right? It was right? on accident. Yeah, it was on accident. No one did any research. So Sub Zero approaches. Uh, you know, throw. They. Th it was a cool scene. I like it. They. He basically manifests uh, snow, Hail and that's storm. why we were like, "These are the worst fucking assassin ever," because it's July and it's getting cold. He's announcing Ooh. to everyone on Earth. That but, he's just but like, hey, I'm here right now. Nobody knows who Sub Zero is on Earth, so it works. And but then Jack he throws snows. a bunch of ice. And 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 that was cool. They they jump in a truck. They, they and Jax picks up. Get it. And so then the Mortal Kombat world cl crashes with coals and and they plot to killing all the fighters. And he's like, well, who the fuck? What is that? And shit. And he's like, all right, uh, you want to protect your family? I'll give. I'll buy you some time. I'm gonna deal with him. Takes out a fucking rocket launcher. Takes out a you know 
uh, no, it's a shotgun. It's a shotgun. shotgun. It should have been a rocket launcher. It should have been. Fuck and he that. fired Don't immediately. Fuck around. Don't fuck around. And it was a great scene. And then here's where we do right. Uh, basically, all the fight scenes in this movie is yeah. done right. It, Everything yeah. else is done wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then the storytelling. Sub Zero <laughs> is like, well, his mission is actually to kill the fighter, so he'll take Jax. So he lures Jax into a little area, and it's like an ice dungeon. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And that fucking fight scene is badass, yep. and I was on board. So this is all part of that first act where I'm like, no, I'm gonna defend this film to the death. I love it. It's great. Okay. So we, <laughs> we get past that. He fucks Jax up, like literally. <laughs> and this is cool because this is what it would be like if you were fighting Sub Zero as a normal fighter. And you had no powers, yeah. Yeah, rips his arms off and brutalizes him. He falls down and then slams on the ground. And the Sub Zero looks at him. I was like, say it. Somebody say it. Fidelity. But nobody says it. Okay, fine, whatever. Sub Zero could have said it because later on they do say it. They stuff. do say a lot. But, anyways. Um, and I just li- and then Sonya, he's like, oh, find Sonya Blade. So then he goes and finds Sonya Blade, and she reveals this world to him that they were in the special forces long time ago. They ran into somebody with superhuman powers with the mark on them, and Jax, Jax killed him, and Jax got the mark. So ever since then, they've been trying to research this in special forces. I was like, yes, okay, fine. That's a cool way to do it. Need little Easter eggs on the clippings. <coughs> it's Night Wolf, and then uh, mm-hmm. I forget what's that Aztec cat one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Night- Com? Yeah, yeah. Co- uh, yeah, he was there as well. I saw. I, I saw. No, him in the I clip- think you're thinking about Sh- uh, Shao Kahn. No. Shao Kahn is in, in the there. clipping. Yeah, well, that I was Night Wolf. Night Wolf. It was in there, and then uh, Shao Kahn later. But maybe I might have missed it. Anyways, um, so but and then Kano. She's she's in prison. Kano there, and greatest part of the movie. So I was yes. already having fun, and then Kano shows up and starts spitting one-liners, making jokes, cracking jokes, basically cutting everyone down. And I was like, this is, this is great. I was having fun this at this guy. point. I was like yes. 9 out of fucking 10 here. I was ready. Um, but we're only 15 minutes into the movie. <laughs> no, we're more like 25 or something, right? Mm. And, and uh, so he lures Jackson, fucks him up, uh, brutal, uh, Melina, then, but here, then we go, Melina. I'm like, and she's walking through an uh, outworld. I'm like, okay, cool. Kind of looks like Annihilation, but uh, fine. I mean, it's tough to do outworld on yeah. screen. But then she's got voice modulation on. I'm like, why? And then Shang Tsung starts talking, and he's got voice modulation. And what's hilarious is there's one scene in the film where his voice modulation drops. And it's an editing error. They completely forgot yeah. to put in. Did you notice it? Yeah. It's when he was talking about Raiden's bubble. He's like, Raiden, there. And, and there's no voice modulation. I'm like, wait, did somebody forget to put the voice? <laughs> no one in this. It no didn't one need cared. to be there. No one cared when they were making this movie. Right. Um, so they were, you know, she's like, well, aren't you worried about breaking the rules? And Shane's like, we didn't win nine tournaments, you know, worrying about rules. Send the, what does he call it? Send the reptile something warrior, yeah. right? And so that's when we get my man Reptile. I fucking love Reptile. Now, I like Ninja Reptile, right? And and in the previous Mortal Kombat films, he was a lizard reptile. A really bad CGI lizard How effect. Well, look, I was about to you. look more what? like a gecko than a goddamn, you the know. The gecko's like offering insurance. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, but here, if you're going to do a take on the lizard version of Reptile, I, I think it was I think it was awesome. So I liked it. Yeah, I, no complaints. Even though it wasn't my reptile, yeah. I was like cool as fuck. He even has the acid spit. He's got the fucking tongue. He's using moves that the reptile uh, ninja does in the game. So I loved it. And then Kano just goes fucking like the reptiles yelling. And then Kano's like, ah, you know, you got that Johnny Cage Goro thing going Steals on. Steals that scene too. Kano he was does. stealing every scene that he yes. was in up until this point. And then disappears from the movie. N- that yeah, that's he does the problem. His fatality too. Yeah, yeah. And so he's like, "When am I? Am I gonna get powers?" It's like, man, he's the audience surrogate character. Yes. He's like, yeah. "I want to get powers." Um. So, you know, uh, hello sunshine. You know, they're they're referencing the old films, giving them that Australian accent because that's where hello baby, hello baby <laughs> came from. Oh Kano. man, I want to go I home and watch that movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <sighs> anyways, <laughs> so. Uh, Kano wins, tears his heart out, and then they offer him money to help them because he knows where uh, Raiden's, Raiden's temple. temple's at. And he's like, Get, you know, I'll give you two million. He's like, three million. You got three million living in a shithole. She's like, I've been living here all my life. And he's like, okay. 
What? What? <laughs> what then? Like, and sense. he's like, are you actually going to pay him then? And she's like, no, nah, man, I live in the shithole. How am I going to get him money? But whatever, he believes them. So he gets his mom to fly him out there. <laughs> She's some old woman. He, call, he calls her Connie, but I'm going to say that was Kano's mom because they had similar accents. That would be more fun. She's that older. would be more fun, but no, his mom. No, nah, his mom been dead for three fine, years. Fine, all right. Said this story. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, Sonia <laughs> kicks Kano's ass for talking shit. They're walking in the desert. They're trying to go find this temple, and um, again, great. I like it. Um, you know, the banter with him and and, and her. her. It's perfect. And, uh, yeah. And. It, she doesn't take the marking. She doesn't kill him. Uh, and I really like Sonya. And then uh, randomly, Liu Kang shows up. They don't even have to find the location because he comes and finds them. And he's like, it is my duty to find all the Air Earth Warriors. Where the fuck were you then? You, your boss also can teleport anyone on any realm to any point ever. So and you fucking, <laughs> you're walking in the goddamn desert to meet us out here, you oh piece of shit. God, so they did Liu Kang Very dirty. Very inconsistent. Mm-hmm. Um, and he meets them. But and he's ripped. <laughs> He's like ripped. He ripped. is. He is cool, but he's not my Luke Kane because like I can't separate. I know. Luke! I can't separate the original Luke Kane from this. Yeah. Played him in both, even in the terrible sequel, and so he just doesn't look right to me as Luke Kane. And I never fully accepted him as Luke Kane, even by the end of the film. I thought he looked like <laughs> Luke Kane cosplay. Yeah, Luke as Kane. soon as we meet Luke Kane, another fucking banger by Kano. Cause he's like, I know. All right, I got this guy in Fireball. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? You tell me about your Fireballs? He's like, and all then, right, David Copperfield. <laughs> right, and then he, he uh, t- t- says some monk shit to him, puts his hand on his shoulder, and his response is, the, the fuck? <laughs> you know? And I, he's just so funny, which he is, is which is why we didn't need that audience surrogate character. Because, And honestly, Cole is not, he's there. But he's not there. Holy he's shit. not yeah. saying I shit. Forgot. He's completely out of place, and he's mostly mute is what I fucking wrote here. It's like, what's the fucking point? So then Kang, uh, Liu Kang says, we must train. I was going to find you anyway, and we must all train. So then we see the murals, and, and these are little Easter eggs. I tried, there's three murals. I didn't. I missed the first and second, but then the third I saw Shao Kahn. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. The fourth mural is Sub-Zero and Scorpion fighting. I think one of the murals was one I didn't Mal- recognize was was the uh, one of the realms uh, not Melina but Katana's father who had passed away and maybe Sendell I think that's that realm yeah, with that Elden. blue suit mm. the older guy maybe. that's one of the scenes I was like mm, yeah that's what so like. y- y'all could tell us in the yeah. comments what those were what you think they were mm-hmm. and then this is where he basically says discover your inner power they call it Arcana and so that kind of gives explanation I knew that Hollywood would need to come up with the name you don't need to fucking explain you Mortal don't. Kombat's powers it's just but they Kombat needed just something is. to explain <laughs> right exactly I mean some people don't even have fucking powers they just do weird Weird shit. So but all you have to do is kill someone who has the seal, and you can unlock your own power. You unlock powers. Mm. So if you ever get into like a, a really bad car accident, and then all of a sudden you can shoot fireballs, you yes. know, someone. No, you have to take if it from the mark. The, the mark, right? Well, yeah. but if you are responsible for that person's death, sure, and someone yes. dies, then you yeah. can all of a sudden just shoot fireballs. Yeah, that's or how something. that works. Yes. Yeah, and then and then in Luke Kane's speech, he's like, "The dragon has swallowed many before us." But I'm like, "Is that a literal dragon, or are they going to be doing that?" But no, I think he just means the dragon of the tournament has, has swallowed many people and killed many people until the dragon shows up and is like, "Dude, that, well, that's a he move. has a dragon. You he need has an to animality. lead with that move, please, because that move was cool yeah. and uh, yeah." Uh, I wrote, it's so weird seeing somebody else's Luke Ayn, uh, and then we meet Raiden, and a, a Kung Lao's entrance, let me say this, was fucking awesome. I fucking loved his entrance. I didn't love his the hat. actor. Oh, I loved the, I, I loved the actor, because he's got that cockiness and young brashness that my my stepbrother had, and he loved playing Kung oh. Lao. He's perfect. Like and so he grabs a hat, and he comes up, and then he does some flips in the air, and comes like, oh. It's so fucking good. I lo- I loved Kung Lao in this film. Even though he's a bit of a dick, but that's kind of Kung Lao. He's kind of a, a little bit of a dick because of his issues of living up to uh, uh, his ancestors. Um, and then again, Kano just stealing scenes. He's eating peanuts while the sorcerers and gods are arguing with each other. I mean, he's great in the film. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's when they say, and they said, so it's like a box of chocolates, you know, and what's going to be my power? I can't wait to figure it out. Then they do the test your might montage where they're all fighting each other to discover their arcana. Yeah, you do get that little um, training montage and like, oh, self-doubt. And it's like, 
Here's some good stuff. Here's what I want to do. Maybe I'll raise it to six in the uh, in the spoiler section because they do it, the sweep, the sweep move, and they do with sweep. Kano, do that though. again, sweep with but Kano. 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 And he's like, "Is that the only move you know?" And that's what you did in the video games. So I'm fucking sweeping me as a dog. Well, until you can stop it, I'm gonna fucking do exactly. it. Exactly. You just there for Kano though. Is that that's the only just... yeah. Is that the only move you know, mate? Uh, you're right. We already gave him points and credits. Exactly. I love montages Fan. in all of these garbagey movies. Yeah. I love them. This was one of the worst montages. Yes. Because no, except the, for the, the sweet was good, man. Okay, so one part the of the sweet. montage, <laughs> yeah. the main character doesn't even figure out his thing in the montage. Right, the main character's a disappointment again. And and the movie's telling you he's a disappointment. He's a disappointment. He's a disappointment. Yeah. He's a disappointment is And it's movie. a trope when <laughs> you know what's going to happen when his family's in danger. That's when he manifests the powers. It's so boring and standard. And I didn't care about that. It was like, yeah. oh, his family's in danger. I was like, I don't Again, know Lewis, I love you. I love your work, but they underutilized you here, and I hope you agree. Anyway, uh, Luke Kane said Bo Wright Cho found him when he was a stray. He didn't really have a place. L- Kun Lao is the one that has the place, and they're brothers, and he feels very connected. So they kind of sideline him with that. These are these two are a couple. These two are a pair. They, you know, they're they're brothers and everything, um, which is going to have some impact later on. Which unfortunately didn't have the impact that we wanted it to. No. Yeah. Um, Jax is feeling useless during this montage. Get a little baby. <laughs> He's got sad metal Can't arms. Can't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, They'll come in men's sizes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kano is so good. <laughs> Sonia consoles and motivates Jax. Uh, Seriously, like, his arms look so good when they're not being shown, like when he's not moving them, because it looks great, but then... He's saying the punch back. But the uh, punch back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, these, uh, aren't, these don't work, and I hate them. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit odd in that CGI, but everything else was good. <laughs> um, then a really awesome, funny scene... Uh, with pissing off Kano to get his powers, and they basically just taunt him at the table. And I'm like, the movie's working again. Yay! Anytime Kano's a part of it, really. It's like, yeah, you're like a little aggressive bunny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? To say that again? You're right. He is basically Johnny Cage. And he He's the whole the movie. Heart of the movie. But he then is. he betrays everybody at the end and fucking dies. And it's like, great. I don't you even want to see a sequel because you killed the only one. That's what I'm saying. Like, at the very end, I'm just like, I, I, I don't care. These guys are just like, they, Why they can't look Kano great? win more anyway, combat? Anyway, he, he, Scorpion's descended, Cole realizes, and uh, he quits because uh, Radom tells him all this. And, he he cri- and oddly, Radom lets him go. Go visit your family, which is fucking stupid. They know the enemy was hunting him down. Okay. Because okay. they knew okay. he'll get his powers when his family's in jeopardy. All right, Joe. All right, maybe. Man, I, hated it. <laughs> I think, uh, what's the girl's name? The devil's girl. Now I'm really reaching into Mortal Kombat lore uh, to try to think of her name hmm. she's in the games which one the, de- the demon chick N- natara natari something like that do you remember the demon because the, the demon chick the one that can fly oh yeah no, yeah. i know i don't remember she's, she, she's, she's in, she is kind she's of in there she shows up uh cabal and general reiko reiko they they show yeah. up and he's like my champions we will destroy natara? these natara yeah, yeah that's natara, natara, yeah. natara um so he's like these are my champions They're, we're gonna kick their ass and i'm like you brought. You didn't even bring B team. You, you brought Z team. Mm-hmm. You know, Sub Zero's gonna have to fucking carry because <laughs> they knew they're gonna do sequel B. Because they knew they knew they needed to kill hate. these characters, right? They yes. knew they needed to kill these, but then also they kill other characters too, and it's like, oh fuck, you know. So, anyways, um, and but at the very end, Prince Goro shows up. You know, and they think a Prince Goro is an honor to see you, and you only see his shadow. And I'm like, oh shit, what's he I didn't look think like? they'd bring Goro in. Um, and that's when they forgot to do Shang Tsung's voice when he uh, mentions Raiden's bubble. They kind of do the same little intro as the first one, right? Yes, they do. The shadow. I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. Kinda, is yeah. that a throwback? It is a throwback, cool. yeah. <laughs> and that's when Cabal starts speaking, and you're like, oh, God. Oh, please stop talking. <laughs> Every stop time talking. you talk, it's the worst. But he convinces Kano to turn bad. And I thought, you know what would be really fucking cool? And one of those things is like, how dare you? But I like it, or I, I'll that accept it good? that Kano is a good guy now, right? That he's got an evil yeah. thing. If they would have went, because as much as we like Kano in this film, we would have accepted it. Yeah, of course. But no, he's straight up bad. Uh, you know, he's well, he he could just be convinced with money and he doesn't give a fuck about people, exactly. which is Kano. Yeah. Uh, so he turns on them, sabotages Raiden's projection, and that's uh, and then simultaneously Goro attacks uh, Cole Young on Earth Realm in a barn. <laughs> so you've got to fight with Goro in a barn. Which uh, looks dumb as shit. I mean, I do like the CGI effect. I do think uh, uh, Goro, Goro looks cool. Yeah, that's um, about if it. If you're not going to do it <laughs> practically, it, it looked about as best as it could. Yeah. 
uh, in CGI. But here's I'm making notations as fighting is happening. The soundtrack sucks. It did. That's what I was saying. During the combat, nothing really pumped me up. Because the music during the fights were it's the same kind no, of no. music throughout the whole fucking film. Yeah. you got to pump your audience up. Exactly. Anyways, Kano... Uh, uh, does a flawless victory on Natara. He, he does this cool move from the video games where his ha- hat is spinning. One of oh, the Kung Lao, yeah. Kung Lao. Kung Lao, I said. I, I mean, sorry. And, and, and it you was see awesome. a brain and you see the fight. I'm like, that is perfect. That, that was very well. cool. Um, Goro talks. <laughs> I didn't expect to hear Goro talking. I forget what he says. But his, his wife stabs him in the back and, and then she gets in the truck and then Goro's chasing down a daughter and I was like I never expected to see this like it's almost like a monster film within mm-hmm. within Mortal Kombat I'm like that's not how you treat Goro Goro is like a goddamn sub boss yes he's a monster but I think you're getting the monster part wrong <laughs> or you're you know it's like that Hollywood stink I on honestly it. didn't like that Cole defeated him I yes, he should, I wrote he that deserved, too, Joe. He, he deserves somebody I wrote better, that too. a better opponent. <laughs> Cole finally manifests his powers because his family's under mm-hmm. attack, and he defeats Prince Goro what is in his, his first like? fight. He has sticks. Wicker basket. Like, no, it's a wicker no. basket. Is it, is it, it is striker? Wi- <laughs> it is a gold wicker basket. <laughs> it's, it's his, suit. his skin turns into a wicker basket, and anytime you no, punch him, he turns orange. Suit. It looks like a suit because later on, his brother's like, badass suit, dad. It's a fucking suit. Yeah. It looks like a suit. It manifests like a suit. It probably is supposed to be a skin, but it, it, just, it still it looks like a suit. And unfortunately, like, because I like the actor so much, I follow him, uh, you know, and I like his work. Uh, it just couldn't. No. Even with all that. I he doesn't even so use I it. So I can imagine somebody who doesn't even know what this actor is, don't give a fuck. He's like, I hate Cole. Cole does it. Cole had no place here. Well, because it looks like it looks like he gets punched, and then he's he absorbing no power in yeah. this place, right? Because yeah. it looks like he's absorbing power, and yeah. he's gonna like redirect it. He does it one time the whole movie. Yeah, I thought that was and never stick. uses it again. And then every it kind of looked like he was trying to use it to save his family in the ice, but it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, okay. He's just, terrible. Yeah. His powers are terrible. Yeah, make well, Cole he badass, so he I will like use Cole. Mm-hmm. Then he has his stick stuff. Mm. Oh, when well, no, one's a blade, oh, then like, he manifests he, 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 his like cool, invincible. His, I guess he gets what are those hit. Called? It's like whatever, cool. Um, Stri- whatever. Batons. striker sticks, batons. Yeah, <laughs> batons. no, they have a better name. No, um, no batons. His are batons okay, because okay, he's, he doesn't deserve the cooler name. All right. So then, but Make then even batons. more ridiculous. So now we're talking about manifestations. Now, Jax. Uh, then we go to Jax, and Jax grows. Machine. He's a technomancer. He's a machine growth. He yeah, technomancer. I love that. Yeah. You like it? I, so it's like it's it, like this is a little stupid. I'm like, when the fuck is he gonna get his power? He's been doing this the whole time. And little baby arms look fucking stupid. And I was his like, baby arms give are him dumb. Something. It's like, look, I, I I will buy this. Of all the things you've tried to force feed me, I'm gonna buy that Jax is a technomancer. Okay, well, yeah, you bought that one, and because he's gonna it. shoot rockets and stuff out of it, it's gonna be great. It's yeah. Gonna be great. yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'll give you that. Raiden then retreats to the void. I'm Fuck like, excuse me, what? You could, and he says, he says, uh, I wrote it down. Shang Tsung can't reach us here. What? Right before that, as before they go to the realm that Shang Tsung cannot reach, Kung Lao has to sacrifice himself for Cole Young. One of the better characters has to say, one of the Mortal Kombat characters train. has to kill. <laughs> That's right. And so I love Kun Lao, and it's a great thing, but like, no, uh, you, you, you took away one of my good you characters did. and you gave it to one of my you bad characters. You wasted it. You wasted it. And mm-hmm. Raiden takes them to the realm that he can't reach. You should have fucking done that from the first place. I could have fucking trained in that fucking yeah. place. But no, he puts a stupid fucking thing. Raiden sucks in this, all right? The well, later Raiden can just insta banish anybody at any time, and then he's like, oh, I couldn't have no, saved no, him. No. It's like, yes, you can. Yeah. You can banish but anyone at any him. time. Or move them to Malina, different realms. Kano, he banishes Shang Tsung. But he can't get involved. Later on in the movie, he banishes Shang Tsung and goes, you talk too much, and banishes him. It's like, why didn't you do that earlier? You can't, but he can't get involved. But he's breaking the rules. But he can't get involved. No Raiden punch sucks. That's how no punch I fucking hate Raiden. You can push him away. No yeah. punching. <laughs> All right. Cool ass effect, but I agree with Alex. I hate Raiden in this film. His contra- uh, And then again, dirty. so when they're in this realm, this is when we get, I swear to God, it's like Cole has no fucking speaking lines throughout the whole film. And then when he speaks, it is the most generic <laughs> shit I've ever read and written down. And his no, contribution wait, in we there. have to fight No, still. it's not over. We still need to fight. We need to fight smarter. We need to control the fight. We need to fight. And we need to split them up in the fight. In the fight. In the, we'll fight it. We'll create our own tournament. They, they don't want to fight in a tournament. We'll create our own tournament. 
So the plan is to split them up. And then as they're talking, it immediately goes to the, the individual splits. And it's like, oh, my God, they're rushing like a motherfucker they are. here. That's a Why sad did you part. have to do it like this? That's the sad part. Are you, should, are you oh, sure you I'll still want to go to six? I'll take Ryko because he. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with him. And he was yelling in my face because that's all he does. And I will yell at him. Yeah. That fight was 30 seconds long. <laughs> the more we talk about this, the more I'm like, this Uh-oh, should be yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting back. Let me get back that six I was about to give. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and go back they down to the fight. rushed the ending too far. You're right, you're like, right. I was like, all right, and now then we're fighting. Here's another Great. banger from Cole. Get this, ready? You fought him before, but now he's got a, la- but he's got a laser now, so watch out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We go, oh, did he? I didn't notice that when he shot lasers. Like, why are you talking like this? You know what I mean? It's not Lewis's fault. It is the writer's fault. It's the director's fault. And it's not his fault. I would have given this I love a six. You, Whiskey, you my Anyways, friend. Anyways, so there's various fights that go on. Well, Jax I would have given this a six Re- if Kano would have done his little Kano. <laughs> you wanted one move from Kano. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, he didn't manifest that in this movie, Joe. He manifested a laser from his eyeball, okay? <laughs> Um, so yeah. Jax kills Rayco. At least Rayko. before he died. I like this, you know, very oh, bloody, slams his fucking arms together. His head, ca- cabeza explodes. <laughs> Perfect. And then he says something cool <laughs> afterwards. Like, these are good one-liners. Like, yeah, these work. You know, I was like, okay. Cause he I was, thought he was going like, to uppercut him and then The little baby arms didn't work. Go these don't work. Pit. <laughs> Yeah, this scene work. was cool. I like everything about the scene except that it was 30 seconds long. Yeah. This scene needed to be five minutes long, and we reduce, and then all that other shit it in the middle exactly. that we hated. If they had peppered yes. the movie yes. with scenes like this, more and fighting. That's what we're here for. It's yeah. called Mortal Kombat. Sure. Sure. Mortal Kombat, and there's so little Mortal Kombat in this fucking movie. It doesn't yeah. make any sense to it's me. It's about family, Correct. Alex. You're right. Absolutely. Family. Oh, I hate that Sonya movie too. kills, <laughs> and then so these work. And then Sonya kills Kano. And she gets his mark. I'm like, no, 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 don't kill. No. Oh, you killed like the character I she like. She killed him with a loogie covered lawn gnome. Yeah. That, that was cool. But, but you, but, you but killed st- the, the only thing that was carrying the movie. Right, right. And I was like, this is carrying nah. the movie. I, and he's it gone. was as if all the ro- uh, air left the room. I was like, fuck. But that guy, I like that guy. I like that <laughs> right. guy. I wanted more of him. Put him in the sequel somehow. Yeah, like maybe he's still alive. Right before he, maybe. he was about to die. He gets he's gonna. That's no. There. That's how he's gonna be half cyborg. Got it. He's gonna be alive still if they do a sequel. Well, well he, he had to die. He had to he die had to, to get die. the mark. Yeah, the mark is no, gone. No, that was an error. Uh, the, the, no, the, the mark double is mark. Gone. <laughs> he, he gets a mark again. You cannot fight because they turned away Sonya. No, here's the thing. They These never specifically say they have to die. No, they defeat. It could More, be a defeated. No, because no, they're like, Sonya. <laughs> Shut your mouth. If it was defeated, Sonya, Cole was away. defeated. But lose you don't have constantly in MMA. If it was defeated, then Cole wouldn't have a mark. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Cole got defeated at the beginning of the fucking movie. All Cole does is lose no, fights. Okay, no. <laughs> he, he can't even win $200 <laughs> MMA fights. And, and he like defeats our, Goro in the first Prince time Goro. he manifests his power. He's the most powerful Mortal Kombat character. How fucking dare you? Yeah. Uh oh! Now I'm going down to a four. I'm going to a four. <laughs> and this is the end. This is the end. Oh man, that's why you brought all them out. Uh, okay. Anyway, <sighs> so then Cole has trouble with M- Melina after fin- after fucking killing Prince Goro. He has trouble with Melina. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So Sonya has to help because she gets really mad. And I I thought Melina's design was I was like, oh no, how can you not do? They the- did fuck no. up originally. I was, like, I was like, oh they. No, they're saving it for the film. And they saved it for the film. Yeah. So she opens it up and she yeah. gets super pissed and charges at him. Does her teleportations. Sonya shows up and do a, does a spin for no reason. And then she fires her energy you know, rings. Bubblegum energy rings. Killing Melina in a, in a, a single kiss. blast. Also a single Immediately blast. Immediately with no build up whatsoever. She just shows up and goes boosh. And then just cuts a time. circle. And I'm like, really? Oh, time. Oh, yeah, time. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're, you're <laughs> completely right. You're, right. you're totally you, right. You did so. Do you see how the film is so fucking uneven? It's like the fights are great. But then the later on in the film, the fights are great and you cut them short. All right. So I'm thinking four. Cor- uh, so then Scorpion shows up to save. No. So Sub Zero teleports, get, pisses off Cole because he shows that he captured his his kids again. They would have been once dead. again. Just kids, kid, family over and over. When you're doing I the same fucking care. thing. Exactly. Not, yeah. We didn't care to begin with. It's we didn't care the first time. We didn't care the second time. We didn't care the third time. You remember the first time in the car? Second time. 
Goro. I don't Third care. time, <laughs> Sub Zero. Okay, I'd like stop it. Who cares? This stop was the perfect it. opportunity for Shang Tsung to go. Fine, tournaments on now, and then put put. Exactly. It good, has been gone. You play the good song. You're like you are fight. Like it's gonna be Sub Zero, and it's gonna be fucking Cole. And now we start the tournament. Right, because exactly. <laughs> and that would have been because the perfect. He had a bunch of, Podunk piece of shit fighters, and he saw them, and he's like, "I'm gonna, we're gonna win. I'm gonna do the invasion now. No, do the fucking tournament yeah, now. Yeah, as soon as you show up, these are your fighters. Let's fucking start. Let's this, go, man. These get guys the are rest. No, but that wouldn't follow the rules. So since he's breaking the rules, he he's might as well the break anyways. the rules. Compl- I know. <laughs> <sighs> anyways, let me finish. So then Cole okay. is fighting in the in the ice dungeon. They go into an MMA, and I was like, okay, so it's like if I was. Uh, Hollywood executive, and I had, and I didn't have any. And you were an imbecile. And I, <laughs> they said, uh, which which fighter do you think could fit in here? Well, what fighting style do they not have in Mortal Kombat? Well, uh, maybe MMA. We haven't really seen an MMA fighter, so that's kind of what they do here. So they got an MMA backdrop, all frozen, but he doesn't really use MMA moves, and that that's kind of a. a He's also a sad very thing. bad at MMA. He yes, kept losing. He's a, he's a loser. he loses just normal he fucking dudes. Don't call him a loser. He used he, to be good. Did you see him win a single fight? No. Before Goro. he used to, he won the title. He won against Goro. Yeah, but the wicker, Goro. the wicker suit beat Goro. Yeah, all right. So, anyways, so he he's about to lose against Sub Zero yet again, uh, proving your point. Uh, he notices that uh, the spear interacts with uh, Cole when Cole touches it. It turns into flames. So Sub Zero's a little bit, and he was going to kill him, but then Scorpion shows up. Uh, you know. Uh, stops him from killing Cole. Epic fight between those two. Finally, the music cool. starts, and it's a great, great song. And even though Sub Zero, you know, I didn't like his costume, so I like when he ripped his costume off. His costume was a little bulky, so he mm-hmm. needed to rip that a shit off. Armor, looked yeah. more like by hand. Looked more like Noob Saibot by then. And I was like, cool. Maybe in the sequel, he'll, he'll turn into Noob Saibot. But uh, there was lots of video game moves. This was the payoff. Yeah. So they put all their budget. They put all their time and effort. Because you know how you were talking about, oh, I don't want a five-minute fight. Or I don't want a 30-second fight. I want a five-minute fight. This was a 10-minute fight. This was good. It was, uh, it was know, like five minutes. All s- <laughs> well, it, was, it was short. Fine. No, and it was Cole, good. Cole it was punching, good, but punching it was, the it was short. <clears throat> so but Cole's in the background like doing this the to the ice with his children. His family's dead. It should have been Stop dead. Stop it, Cole. And for the uh, and then that's when he says uh, for the Lin Kuei and then Scorpion says no for well, again shit we don't care about and he's f- gonna fight side by side with his son or ancestor you know um, and Cole doesn't really I mean I guess he does help a little bit we don't know that Cole speaks Japanese and this is something that I was constantly I don't know what thinking you're saying. is because Scorpion's like, constantly talking to him in Japanese and then Cole's just going like. I'm just gonna back up. I, I guess I he knows Japanese because he's like I, he's mine. I'll handle him and Cole's like okay. But he was—he's an orphan from sh- the south side of Chicago. Do you think he just like took Japanese? Probably not. And he's, he probably has no idea what he's saying. He's like, exactly. oh, okay, he you're, a down. Ninja, you're a blood magic All ninja. All you have to do is look down and look at the subtitles. Alex. Oh, okay. He's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. <laughs> you're just so right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the fight happens. We get Ice Wall, which is excellent. We get the Ice Clone, which is excellent. We get all yeah. sorts of really cool uh, fight scenes happening. The two actors for for Scorpion and Sub Zero did a an amazing job. Or the stunt people, I, I don't mm-hmm. know what what is, but they they did a wonderful job. Need and then more Scorpion. they make the fight awful by reincorporating Cole. <laughs> um, Ouch! And yeah. it, oh, good. The, all of the people I- involved clearly know what they're doing in martial arts. Mm-hmm. The issue is. Scorpion is awesome, and he's already murdering <laughs> Sub Zero with you know like you know the the what are they the hell um, hellfire hell hell flame, hell. and he's doing all sorts of yeah, things. He's like, I came back from hell, but like Cole but stabs him know. in the heart and like lifts him up. This and then Scorpion feels a little off lore wise. Yeah, and he's then Sub Zero cool. is crazy powerful here, yeah. where we don't know why he's. 600, 700 years old. We don't know why you can be stabbed in the heart and still live. Uh, apparently, uh, some flamey breath kills him, though. Yes. So, and then we then we move on from there. Yeah, and then uh, oh, Cole saves his family. Oh, my God. What? What? Now I know why this film screenplay is so shitty and why that's the thing that, that, that hurt this film. Guys... I just figured it out. So we were praising the fight scenes. We're praising some of the faithfulness to the, to, to the source material. 
and all our criticisms is basically coming from like these characters the, the, in the screenplay. Yeah. Well, this was uh, written by Greg Russo and Dave Callahan. Yeah. Okay. Who who are they? Well, Greg Greg Russo, uh, his credits include Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. The good one. Category six uh, is announced, not a project. So, Mortal Kombat 2021. This is his first thing, right? And so you're like, first-time writer, oh, no, now I get it. But he had help because he's a first-time writer. So who did he have help from? This Dave Callahan guy. And guess who he's responsible for? His last one, Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> the, the film that had no internal logic and was so cheesy and so over the, the disrespect top. disrespected the source the, material. The, the disrespected the source material, got the characters wrong, and, and mm. just flew wildly out of control in the third Which act. Is, yeah. This film flew wildly out of control in the third, for the third act. So, unfortunately, this project was held back by its uh, sc- writers and the, you know, the screenplay. Uh, and, and the and the story, everything else was good. In fact, it, maybe Cole Young could have worked with better writers and better screenplay. For sure, yeah. I didn't hate Cole, right? Like as the character, like so there's there's times when a character shows up in a movie and we're like, I don't like. This uh, though I think he should have just been Johnny Cage. Should have been Johnny Cage. Uh, in fact, like this movie probably would have worked better if Sonya's almost the main character because she's kind of yeah. in all the most important scenes anyway. She's yeah. the one learning about all the, the tournament and everything. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, were we missing anything? Yeah, well, there's uh, got to the be a stinger, end, right? There's the no stinger, actually. End, he saves his family because they were frozen for like 20 hours. Right. They, his family and should be dead. Fine. Like you said, I mean, Sub Zero literally fucking murders families all the time and he's going to leave the family alive? Yes. No. <laughs> well, I guess he killed them technically, but they were brought back to life by the heat of. No, they're already Scorpion. alive. They're just cold. That's Luke. it. Liu Kang said, I'll warm you up. Yeah, but they were already that, uh, alive. Liu Kang has been relegated to a heater. Space heater. <laughs> he's, he's, okay. a, he's a moving space heater. No, Liu Kang actually has a really cool no, scene yeah, with Cabal where Cabal like falls in an oil pit or something. And then Liu Kang dragon. summons the giant flaming dragon to eat him. And it's actually really cool. It's like, motherfucker, if you had the ability to summon a giant flaming dragon, you should probably Yeah, but he's like mother. This. He's... he's uh, Cabal's really, really fast. I like the purple effects that they do on him. He's super yeah. fast. So he's not going to be able to summon that right away. He He'll die right he away. He, he has like to stop. Legs. He has to stop. Just mm-hmm. watch yeah. the fights. That's Yeah, fights were good. Fast forward to All the right. very end of this movie. Mm-hmm. And then uh, do they set up a sequel? Uh, that's when uh, you know, Shang Tsung shows up. He's like, how dare you? Raiden says, and then he teleports him away. He's like, I'm going to come here with yourself. armies. He's like, oh, he next ta- time I will bring armies. too much. Yeah. He's gone. He's not, the, you like, stupid, pathetic fools. I've come for your soul. Nope. Nothing with Shao Kahn or anything like that. God damn it. Now we have a team. And I don't I don't really want to see the Shao. I don't really want to see the Shang Tsung again. He is so boring. What? So boring. That's Mulan's father from the Disney Mulan. Oh, is that? It? Oh, you're right. The live know. action Disney Mulan that was like a zero out of ten. Yeah. That's exactly why I say like all these characters fell flat for me. M- most of the characters, yeah. K- Kano was good. Yes. Yes. Sub-Zero. I like yeah, so he's pretty good. cool. Scorpion, Scorpion's cool. Uh, yeah, Jax yeah. was pretty cool. But he's not really in the film. Though. Yeah, Cabal had way too many lines. <laughs> we said that <laughs> way. Know, I know, but so, I want to reiterate: uh, Cabal has three. way too many lines. That's about right. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Terrible screenplay ruined Oof. by uh, uh, Wonder Woman 1984 and letting a first-time writer go at it. I don't know how he, he <gasps> got there, unfortunately. I got a perfect one for uh, But he needed Street a little fighter. bit of help. Let's get Ken. And Ken's going to be our segue to everything. You're wearing a Street Fighter shirt? Well, at least I'm, <laughs> I'm countering that out. It, 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 it's a Ken. Scorpion. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much uh, for watching. Uh, thank you to X- Exter for um, sponsoring our episode. Go check out their wallets. Get one for, more for your family. Great discount. Awesome. Super reasonable price. Awesome gift. We've done the research on all the other wallets. Very this sleek, is the company I fashionable. seeked out myself to work with. So mm-hmm. yeah. get one. Uh, they're awesome. And, uh, yeah, um, 
Disappointed. Yeah. Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> it could have been good. And yeah. and I, I do hope people watch it and, and, and talk about it and and Let's know I, what you I guys do wanna think. see I do want a sequel, but I don't want a sequel using Dave Callahan or, nor Greg Russo. The director did they had some good shots in there. So I I I'm willing to give the director a second chance, but not with these writers. Directed by uh, Simon McQuoid. And produced by James Wan, uh, Todd Garner, uh, so you know, so some good good talents yeah, there. Potential. But the writing, the screenplay held it back. So, anyways, um, Mortal Kombat is out now. Go check it out, HBO Max. Uh, we are working on a Mortal Kombat uh, a property franchise uh, for a board game. Um, so, I wanted to share with you. I'm not sure if I've shared it before, but I want to give some uh, a teaser, a, a quick little. Let, let's let's be happy again. Let's show off something cool, right? So um, I'm going to end the review here with a little tease at our official box art uh, for our upcoming board game, uh, both the core set and the boss expansion. And uh, these are some badass, badass art. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope this was therapeutic for those of you who agree with us. And... Um, if you don't agree and you really liked it, good, good. I want more Mortal Kombat. Uh, but, yeah, so. Anyways, that's our opinion. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.